If you look around our city, it's hard to miss that some areas need some TLC. And there's a business improvement district focused on one street on the city's north side to hopefully spread the revitalization across our area. Joining me from Center Street Marketplace is Jennifer Potts. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you for having me, You Julie. know, I remember you from a few months ago, I think it was. I was reporting on the Milwaukee Marathon, and I saw a woman who was passing out these balloons right there that you can see on your screen and um, you were trying to sh spread the word about revitalizing Center Street and I was I was just you know I was struck by it and you know can you tell me about your focus to fill the empty storefronts there and just get the word out in any way that you can thank you so much what we've been doing is we've been marketing we actually have about hundred and twenty five commercial properties in our business district 14 of them are city owned um, we have six churches we have about 40 vacant properties so what our bid district has been doing our areas actually from 34th and center all the way to 58th and center we cover three aldermanic districts we have president murphy we have alderman stamper and Alder alderman former alderman wade so we have um, businesses in the seventh district already and we also work with two different police departments and it's so yeah. and you were telling me one of the big things is that you're trying to tell people that they're isn't as much crime as you may think in that area for to get people to come to your area. Absolutely. These are properties that are available right now. Um, and there is an element of crime in the district. However, what we're trying to do is normalize the perception of our area. Mm -hmm. So we work with the current business owners. We work with current property owners. And Julia, you know, the business owners and the property owners aren't the same oftentimes. There are a lot of commercial properties that are bank owned, a lot of investment properties. So we've really been out getting the word out about these properties that are available right now for vital businesses to come in on Center Street. What type of businesses do you need up in up north? Well, we definitely we had a survey last year and one of the the prevailing businesses that keeps coming around over and over is a coffee shop. Um, you know, coffee is at a, a prime right now, but we don't have a coffee shop on Center Street. We're looking for possibly a pharmacy, um, and I just heard that Family Dollar may be coming to 22nd and Center. In, in Which would be huge. Absolutely. That definitely will bring economic viability to our district. However, we really want to focus on the businesses and the properties that are there and that are available. Okay. Well, Jennifer Potts, thank you so hey. much. I'm so glad that you came <laughs> on our show. If you'd like more information mm -hmm. on Center Street Marketplace and Jennifer Potts, she's our executive director, head to our website, tmj4.com links.